Introduction. This study is all about utilization of coconut husk in fabricating fibers, which test its strength and durability. The materials used in the fabrication of this flyboard are coconut husk and ordinary Portland cement. Instead of using expensive products, we used coconut husk because it is a common byproduct and very abundant in nature. The study claimed that coconut husk as a resource to produce building materials substitute to wood products offers many advantages. Commercial use of the husk would be substantially increase the profitability of coconut farming and contribute to the economy and export of the Philippines. The innovation of board manufacturing is adding value and supply of cheap house materials also provides jobs and higher income to the coconut farmers, likewise environmental friendly. Objectives of the study to develop flyboards from coconut husk or cocos ocifera serves as the primary objective of this study and evaluate its physical and mechanical properties. Specifically, this study aimed to number one, fabricate flyboards from different mixture of coconut husk and ordinary Portland cement. Number two, determine the physical properties of flyboards fabricated from different mixtures of coconut husk and ordinary Portland cement at a at a different pressing time in connection with thickness of swelling and a water absorption capacity. Number three, determine the mechanical properties of flyboards fabricated from different mixtures of coconut husk and ordinary Portland cement in connection with the modulus of rupture. With a pressing time, two hours, four hours, and six hours. Number four, examine the flyboards available in the market and the fabricated in terms of modulus of rupture. Significance of the study First, we have carpentry and consumer. As this design in favor of cost saving, structural designers and environmental aspects in making furniture, decorations and other fixtures with the use of the fabricated flyboards from coconut husk. Second is the coconut farmers. They can now have suitable use of coconut husk that would help them reduce production costs and increase profitability and they can have another medium of using the coconut husk that would help in preventing environmental and health related hazards as well as an additional income. Third, future researchers. They can use this as an, a reference who would want to explore the same topic on technology innovation concerning flyboards production that in one way would also help increase the reliability of the study as more ideas will be gathered to come up with more concrete findings. Scope and limitation. This study used fine fiber particle, coconut husk, mixed with ordinary Portland cement and fabricating the flyboard. Physical tests of the flyboard will be employed in the different treatments to come up with good physical qualities such as strength and durability of the product. Quality evaluation will be done through the selected carpenters and furniture makers in Sugat which have an experience in handling construction materials. For gathering of materials, we collected the coconut husk in Sugat Southern Leyte at Barangay Magatas. And after the materials was collected, the following processes was followed like sieving. This is for the coconut husk in order for us to remove larger particles. Next is measuring to have an exact measure of each product. Next is mixing the mixtures properly and putting them in the molder. After molding, it is pressing the fiberboard and curing it within 28 days. Research design is experimental. This is how we're going to prepare the different mixtures. It is in the cubic meter. This study will use 3 by 3 factorial research design which follows the statistical tree analysis which are descriptive statistics, two-way ANOVA and test on means for two sample cases. This will be used to evaluate and assess the effectiveness of using coconut husk and ordinary Portland cement in fabricating flyboard. The mixture will follow volumetric ratio, where each ratio follows 
2, 4, and 6 hour pressing time of different mixture of Portland cement and coconut fiber wherein we have mixture 1, mixture 2, and mixture 3. And every mixture, there are three replication. After the preparations of different mixtures that we prepared, these are the following processes in data gathering procedure. The plyboard will be tested by its physical and mechanical properties. In physical properties, it will be tested through water absorption and in thickness and swelling. And in mechanical properties will be tested through hydraulic press in terms of its modulus rupture and elasticity. And after the gathering procedure, these are the following steps in order for us to examine the different data collected. The script statistics will be used to determine the physical properties of light board that will be replicated to the different mixtures of all has and cement in different present time in terms of thickness of swelling and water absorption capacity. Tool and NABA will evaluate the difference on the mechanical properties of light board fabricated from different mixtures of coconut has and cement at a different present time in terms of modulus of rupture. <coughs> Test and means for two independent sample cases will be used to determine if there is a difference on the mechanical properties of plywood in terms of modules of rupture between fabricated plywood and those commercial plywood available on the market. Here's our timetable. From October 2021 to November 2021, planning and formulating the thesis. From December 2021 to February 2022, preparation for thesis proposal. In March 2022, preparation and submission of thesis application. In April 2022, it's presentation of thesis proposal and data, data collection. From April 2022 to May 2022, is data analysis. In May 2022, is submission of thesis.